Hi, it's Starno with Whale Over Recipes, and today I'm going to be cooking up a duck egg in a hole in the Ninja Foodie Smart XL Pro Grill and Griddle. And we'll see how that griddle does making a duck egg in a hole right now. So, here for ingredients, I have one duck egg. Duck eggs come in jumbo size, so it's pretty big. Hope you can see it there. I did in an earlier video where I used the duck egg, I basically compared it to the size of a chicken egg in the shell and all that stuff, so that's back in an earlier video. The uh, bread that I'm going to use is my homemade almond flour whole wheat bread. There's a video here on the channel about how to make the almond flour whole wheat bread. And I've got myself one tablespoon of butter. I'm going to be putting some butter on my bread. And I've got a basically a glass here that I'm going to use to make the hole for my egg. I've also got some extra light olive oil that I'll be spraying on the griddle of the Ninja Foodie Grill and Griddle. And so I'm just going to take this glass here, basically trying to cut a hole into the bread. This bread is unlike your store-brought bread. It's very resilient. It's uh, almond flour makes it that way. So I'm basically pressing in pretty hard to try and cut a hole through the bread. So pretty much done. Get my hole. And I guess I'm going to have so much bread here that I'm going to I'll probably eat this bread separately because it's so much. It's a pretty, pretty big amount of bread. Let's see. Let's get that off of there. All right. So yeah. So we got we got more hole than we got bread now, but it'll be all good. We'll go ahead and eat the whole part too. But what I'm going to do, I'm going to basically spread some butter over one side of the bread, over this part and this part here. And while I'm doing that, I'm going to go ahead and start preheating the cooker. So I've already got the griddle in there. Whoops, sorry about that. Turning the cooker on, switching over to the barbecue griddle set setting there. And I'm going to adjust the temp down to 350. For time, let's go with about, let's say, probably I'm thinking six or seven minutes. So I'm going to do six. And basically I'm going to put things in, let it run for maybe four minutes, then flip it and let it run for the other two minutes to do six total. But with all of this set up now, I'm basically going to go ahead and start things. It's preheating. While it's preheating, I'll get things buttered up. Alright, the preheat is done. Time to add food. So I'm opening up and I'm spraying my oil. Putting this bread here with the whole up there like that. Taking this other little part. I put butter on both sides of this little piece, but I only put it on one side of the bread with the hole. So I put my egg in the hole. Close up. Going to let it run for about four minutes and then I'll see about flipping things. Alright, so things have been going for about four minutes, so I'm going to open up and see how things are looking and flip everything over. The timer doesn't stop, so we just got to let it keep going while I'm flipping. And I broke the yolk while I flipped, that's okay, because egg in a hole is supposed to be like a hard fry anyway. That bread, that little hole looks like a sausage patty, kind of. But I'm going to let it go for the next couple minutes to basically hard fry things. And then I'll uh, see what we have once it's all done. So our time is coming to an end. So let's see what's going on in there. Everything looks hard fried. Gonna go ahead and get things out. So here's our egg. And I guess we'll see what's going on on the other side. That's the side I didn't butter. That's how things look on the opposite side. So, here we have our 
egg and bread and we have our bread that was just basically buttered on both sides got a nice toasting looks like a sausage patty and if you wanted to do like an egg and a whole sandwich you could of course use this as one of the slices and have your other slices of bread and whatever other meats or whatever you want to have if that's your preference that's all up to you and you can take it from there but let's go ahead and do a taste test of this so thank God for an egg and a hole and a hole of toast. <laughs> so let's go ahead and bite into this and do a taste. Very good, very good. Gonna taste the toast hole. That worked very well. Six minutes, you got your egg in the hole. Got a little toast from the hole. It's pretty good stuff. So Ninja Foodie Grill and Griddle can knock that out pretty well. And so in the video description, there'll be a printable version of the recipe. There's lots of ways to help the channel, such as merch, memberships, my cookbook, referral link to get the cooker, pay the same price, help the channel, all that good stuff, donations and whatnot. And so with all of that said, if you did like the video, please do give it a thumbs up. Nothing in this video is sponsored. And basically, you can share the video with a friend also. You can subscribe to the channel. You can hit that notification icon so that you know when new content is posted. And to you and yours, good eating.